Uh, I told the girl her bum was nice. Yeah, there was one girl that said he said my he said my bum was nice, and I told him he shouldn't say that, and he apologized. And I said, yeah, that's true. That did happen. I'm saying that they didn't happen, or they're out of context. What's good, people? Marion Event TV here. No Clark and his allegations of 20 women allegating that he's bullied them, made sexual comments to him, all types of things that women are saying that No Clark has done. Now, first of all, No Clark has went on big social media for people out there to see. He commented on a woman's appearance, saying her bum looks big. Now, No Clark is saying he's never had one complaint. Fool. No Clark ain't got no sense. He's come on social media. It don't matter if you've had no complaints ever in your life. You've come on social media to say you had a complaint and someone said you told them their bum looks big which you admit so whatever has been done or said in your life or any complaints it goes out the window because you've actually said it and someone's complained about it and the next day you got a witness to be in the room so the person's no don't sue you or take it further no clark ain't got no sense therefore he's hiding something simple as that of what i've heard out of his own mouth then he's using excuses of old friend old haters we all know about old haters but the difference is no clark you're in a different field to most people out there you're in the acting world and the tv world your record and your resume has been tarnished from your own mouth you made a comment about one woman so what about the rest of the women are they all lying you can't say no because you made a comment about one one is enough as for the other women saying uh, they may have taken out context, did you send a sexual innuendo text? Yes or no? It don't matter if you fell out with the woman five months ago or five years ago. Did you send a text to the woman inappropriately? We don't want to hear out of context and we don't want to hear about haters. We want to hear you say yes or no. No Clark, the only good thing I heard No Clark say is he's suing the paper for ruining his career and allegedly putting up these crimes that he said he didn't commit or get arrested for or speak to the police about. He went to the police himself. The other part No Clark is making a statement about is they don't want people like him in the industry. Basically insinuating they don't want ethnic people in the industry. Who's No Clark kidding? We all know that these people don't want people in the industry. But it didn't stop your ass from being in the industry and getting paid by these people. Now you've been put on blast and now your career's ruined ruined you're blacklisted you want to come back to the ethnic world and be like oh they, they're doing me for being ethnic we don't care that you're ethnic we want to know did you sexually innuendo these women did you inappropriately touch these women what did you say to these women that's all we want to know we don't business if you've been blacklisted because we weren't getting paid with you that's just a full-blown fact I don't care if no Clark's been blacklisted. I just want to know, did you touch up these women? And did you sexually harass these women? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because no Clark, he could, he's a good writer. I can't deny that. However, that overrides the fact you told a woman a it looks good. I don't want to hear you say that out your mouth. I hold you at high standards. Simple as that. I don't want to hear you're only human. You make mistakes. Because when normal people like us make mistakes, we pay for that. So you're paying for it with the blacklist. Simple as that. Another part No Clark is talking about. <laughs> no Clark is saying most of these people collect the BAFTA when they're 70 years old. He collected at 45. That's why they was gutted and that's why they was upset. No Clark. Stop talking foolishness. Stop trying to fool people out there like all of us are thick out there. I know there's a lot of thick people out there, but who are you trying to fool with the foolishness? No clerk needs to know better. Clear your name first with the paper that you're so-called suing. Then come on social media and say, look, I told you so. I was innocent. But no, he's doing it the opposite way around. Coming on social media, drumming up support. So we all think, oh, he's innocent. No, Clark, you're not innocent. The simple fact that you had made out uh, your own mouth, you told one woman her night, her ass looks good. And then the next day she told you off. In 2016, this happened. You, you ain't got no sense. It seems like you don't realise in 2023, she could still sue you for sleepless nights because you admitted about lusting about her ass in 2016. No sense, no clock. Just for the record, we don't believe you. Remain living TV as always. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.